no company is going to give the keys to the kingdom to somebody that is just barely learning data to to do all their data engineering work. It, it, it's just not going to happen, right? I mean, my experience tells me that unless they have a large data engineering team, which 70% of companies out there don't, they have maybe a person or two that's doing the data engineering and another 10 people that are doing the BI work. Yeah, you're going to have to I... slide into some other role. Yeah, I, I think that one actually will know in six months to a year. Because what I'm seeing, right, is I'm seeing organizations that care about solving problems with data, talking about senior experienced people using the AI tools to make them even more effective. And then I'm seeing organizations that care about, you know, volume of work and velocity and not actually solving problems talk about hiring junior people with those same tools to reduce the cost of the work being done. And I think that's where we're going to end up with as a left and right organizations that care about volume, velocity, and number of lines of code generated and organizations that care about problem solved using data. And I know which ones I'd prefer to work with, but Everybody I think you're right is actually in the past, we had an on-ramp for juniors. Yeah. You join a data team. They would naturally bring in juniors. They would train you up. They would mentor you. You would learn the craft from those data professionals. I think that on-ramp has disappeared, yeah, or is definitely disappearing. So I think you're entering in a real industry in flux with a whole lot of uncertainty. The first thing I suggest you do is go and scrape a shit ton of job adverts, put it into an LLM and get it to give you the key skills that they are looking for, not the tasks, the skills. And then make sure you learn those skills because learning new skills is always valuable, right? But to Chris's point, you know, if you think going and learning, you know, how to code Python or DBT or SQL Mesh to do one task well, I think you're going to struggle. I think you need to find breadth these days, not not depth, unless you are going to be the best of the best. So yeah, it, it is a interesting time, shall we say, to, to enter the, the domain. I, I think the days where we were people that, sat in a corner and coded all day are long, long gone, right? We could no longer be the, the introverts that, you know, so there's a show called the IT crowd, right? And there's literally a guy that's back in the server room. And for the first like two years of the show, you don't see him. And then all of a sudden he comes out and the other guys are like, where did you come from? <laughs> right. And if you, any of you out there haven't seen the show, go, go out and find it. Cause it is hilarious. If you're in it or data at all you'll you'll love it but but yeah i mean there's lo those days are long gone where you know it's basically turn it off turn it back on again and it's going to work it, you, you're going to have to interact with the business and actually be a person yeah the junior roles as both of you have mentioned are disappearing and nobody wants to hire yeah. juniors so so businesses are really setting their, themselves for failure because Who's who's going to end up doing the work in the future if we don't train junior people to to become seniors, right? I mean, it's, it's so it's nonsensical. Scary. So we all had to learn and learn from scratch and build that experience, right? And we're all going to retire one day, right? And we're going to, somebody's going to have to. Hopefully, we are hopeful. Everybody. We are hopeful. Hoping that we're, we're, we're going to retire or something else is going to happen. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're going to retire. We may or may not be alive when we do it, but we're definitely retiring <laughs> right. at some stage. Yeah. Depends on how we retire, right? <laughs> <laughs> we may expire before we retire. We <laughs> were supposed to yeah. be set for life at our age and just go on and leave the hopes from one island to the next and just whatever, look at the skies and do well. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what that... I mean, to uh, to your all's point, I, I don't know what that fix is to companies that are out there that are not hiring juniors, right? They, it, for example, when I first started, I was, when, when the company that I was working for figured out that I had some data skills, I was in customer service, right? I mean, I was a customer service help desk person for a call center for a telecommunications call center. And they're like, oh, you could do this? 
we need somebody to do this for all of our data for the whole call center. And that became my job, right? And and that's how I learned. I, I didn't start out as like a junior data anything. Mm. I started out as customer service help desk and they pulled me off the help desk duty to do these side jobs. And then I became the center analyst and then I moved up from there. 